The next process model is what we call evolutionary process models. Evolutionary models are iterative. They are characterized in a manner that enables you to develop increasingly more complete version of the software. First type of the process model in the evolutionary model is what we call prototyping. Prototyping an example of an evolutionary process flow. In this model, we iterate across the five processes. If you can still recall in my previous lecture, I talk about the iterative process flow. In that example, the iteration can be done across some processes or within tasks in a specific process. In prototyping, we begin with communication, in which you meet with other stakeholders. Of course, you need to identify as well whatever requirements are known and outline areas where further definition is mandatory. A prototyping iteration is planned quickly and modeling in the form of quick design, of course. Notice that, that the planning and design activities are done quickly so that the resulting prototype may be delivered for feedback. Based on that feedback, we can iterate again to produce an improved version of the product. The resulting prototype can be an operational prototype, meaning it can already be used or the prototype can be used as a tool to clarify user requirements. Therefore, this process model or this prototyping model is appropriate for projects when the client cannot fully articulate the requirements of the software. It can be that a general objective of the software is known, but the client cannot provide the necessary features and functionalities. A prototype can be used to build or clarify these user requirements, but the prototype should be developed quickly in order to collect user requirements immediately. Remember that, because the codes are written quickly, it can be prone to programming errors. We can call that one as technical debt. So, if a prototype is utilized in this manner, it is suggested the existing codes are refactored in the next evolutions. Although, some prototypes are built to be throwaways. Others are evolutionary in the sense that the prototype slowly evolves into an operational system. Although problems can occur, prototyping can be an effective paradigm for software engineering. Users get a feel for the actual system, and developers get to build something immediately. There are some reasons why prototyping can be problematic. First, stakeholders may think that the software can be developed in a shorter time than planned. Next, stakeholders may think that the prototype is the final software. After understanding the possible problems and relying, if you will use prototyping, I would like to emphasize that the key is to define the rules of the game at the beginning. That, that is, all stakeholders should agree that the prototype is built to serve as a mechanism for defining requirements. Development teams should also resist pressure to extend a rough prototype into a production product, quality almost always suffers as a result.